we will just contemplate on the thought of how bilmangal takur wanted to uh, glorify krishna as the the greatest of thieves okay so today being uh, purushottam month in the middle of purushottam month, month we have been residing this also but i thought i'll take a little moment on uh, talk about the greatest of thieves okay so mm. the focus on the on the on the chaurashtram is more on uh, uh, the wonderful pastime of stealing the butter and breaking the pots this is considered as krishna as one of the most important and then very uh, sublime and very nice whatever way you want to glorify it is considered as one of the the best of the best of the leela so his leelas we all know it is uncountable and immeasurable so in whatever infinity we can say but um, for as as bonded uh, jeevatmas when we try to relish uh, krishna's pastime one of them is topmost is this uh, wonderful pastime okay so all our acharyas have given various kinds of uh, uh, <clears throat> meanings and discussions philosophical understanding so many things are there okay so the most important thing that whenever we try to uh, deal or whenever we try to um listen to krishna katha this this shloka we should always come in our mind okay any krishna katha any vrindavan pastime whatever we sit whatever we listen this shloka of machita madgadha prana bodayanta paraswaram kadayanta chamam nityam tushyanti chara machita so whenever we uh, sit together and listen about krishna katha listen about the wonderful leela uh, the the parasparam the uh, we have to have that relationship we have to have that reciprocation of love uh, in which we will be able to get that happiness and bliss okay that, that is what is most important and then we will try to see in other 15 20 minutes uh, what we can try to get that okay so we all know billu mangul takur this is called chaurag ganya purushashtakam okay it is like together it is called as chaurag uh, chauragra ganya purushashtakam it is uh, glorifying bilumangal tagur we all know bilumangal tagur i don't want to go into the details of the life history of bilumangal tagur but our focus is on the uh, the saurashtra uh, on the <coughs> chaurashtra compact okay yes now i want uh, <coughs> madaji to start anybody or together also madaji if you can just start singing it it will be nice we will, we will follow you okay shall i sing prabhu ji yes yes madaji वृजे प्रसिद्ध नवनीत चौरम गोपांगना चुकूल चौरम अनेक जन्म जित पाप चौरम चौरा ग्रना गण्यम पुरुषम नमा I offer pranams to that foremost of thieves who is famous in Vraja as a butter thief and he who steals the gopi's clothes and who for those who take shelter of him steal the sins which have accrued over many lifetimes. Okay. So uh, kindly ignore the Tamil portion of it but uh, let us focus on the sloka because since now we are all uh, halfway through the the, uh, the bhakti shastri each of the words in the in the in the shloka is also very nice and then you can easily uh, attempt okay vraje prasidam navaneeta chauram okay prasidam means what in, in sanskrit prasidam means famous 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 that's all so it, it, you can if you can go through the shloka in that perspective you'll be able you will be easily understand okay so he is very famous in uh, he is very famous in vraja as what as butter thief and and also we know as the the thief i mean who stole the, the gopi's clothes okay so what is the first thing is he is bilvanga uh, tagur his his uh, he is offering pranams or he is offering his prayers to who he is not offering prayer to the the gop uh, the, the the supreme most personality of godhead or he is not offering the lord as uh, the vraje the vraja uh, nand deviki nandana or yashoda nandana or nanda nandana or kaliya madana no he is directly worshiping or directly surrendering unto the lotus feet of who termed as the termed as what termed as the, the thief okay he is he is not going as krishna he is directly mentioning as i am uh, offering my respectful obeisances to the foremost of the thieves okay so that is very nice chauragra ganyu purusham namami so this lok this line will come in um, all the all the eight points okay so it is directly uh, referring to the uh, uh, the thief okay 
So in all the other prayers also, when somebody is trying to glorify Krishna uh, or trying to pray to Krishna, they will they will see one form of Krishna, they will take one lila of Krishna and glorify that particular portion. Okay, so that is very nice. So the third line is very nice. Aneka janma di papa chodam. Okay, so this is most important. So what does Krishna steal? Krishna steals outwardly in the, in the in terms of feeling stealing the butter and outwardly stealing the the gopis clothes. But internally, what is the most important thing he is doing is when we take shelter at the lotus feet of this butter tea, he is stealing our sins. Sins. Okay. So stealing means not done in, not done outwardly, not done uh, in the material eyes, not done to be shown to everybody. It is done very secretly. It is done very naively. It is so sublime that nobody can know that what is happening. Okay. So the, the line which we will require for us to understand is Aneka Janmadi Papa Ji Choram. We know he is, he is stealing butter. We know he is stealing the clothes. Do we know he is stealing the Papa? No. How do we know? When we when we surrender unto him, when we have that loving reception show, he will he will he will remove all the papams. Not this year's papam, last year's papam, this janma's papam. He is taking what papam? Aneka Janmadi. It is there is so innumerable, uncountable. We have already undergone. Millions and millions and millions of years, but he is removing everything together. Okay, so that is why we are all fortunate. We are so fortunate that we have Shri Prabhupada, our Acharyas, and Bilumangal Takar also to see that we take shelter of this butter thief who will remove all the sins. Okay, not just uh, one or two years or one or two four uh, janmas. Aneka janmadi. It is like innumerable count. Okay, so we, uh, this is the introduction part, which is very very good. So that we will know to move away from this particular material world. To come out of this material world, we have to get rid of all the problems. So whenever we take shelter at the lotus feet of our acharyas, whenever we take initiation, whenever we take the second initiation, what is the first foremost thing is eradication or the removal of our problems. Okay. So with that background, we'll get into the next sloka. Clear? Vraje Prasidam Navanita Choram. We all know the Navanitam portion. And Gopangananam Tadukula Chavaram. That also we can understand. Aneka Janmadi is what is, is more important for us to uh, take it as important where Chauragriganyam Purusham Nama. Okay. Let's go to the second sloka. We'll go to the, each of the verses, then come back if you have any uh, clarifications or doubts. Okay. But let's, let, let us just relish it. Okay. I don't want to get into the clarification doubt portion, but just relish the sloka. So what does he what does he steal? He steals the butter, he steals the gopis clothes, but he steals the most importantly the sins occurred over many many lifetimes. Okay. Yes, third one, second one, sorry. Shiradhikaya ya hidya se choram. Navambuda Shamala Kanti Choram Padashita Namcha Samaste Choram Chorangranagana Purusham Namami. I offer pronouns to the foremost of thieves who steals Shimati Radhika's heart and who steals the dark luster of a fresh rain cloud and who steals all the sins and suffering of those who take shelter of his feet. So the second sloka, he's going with little, little detail into the next portion, which is very important. So what is he steals? Outwardly again, he steals Shimati Radhika's, Radharani's heart. Then he steals a dark luster of fresh cloud. And then third one, he steals all the sins and sufferings of those who take the shelter. Okay, the padashre. The the, uh, the the first sloka talks about aneka janmadi papam. The second one talks about padashreta samasta chauram. Okay, so again, this this is referring to the two parts. One is not only Radharani's heart, all the gopis also. Okay, that is first part. Second part, how do we understand? Navam Buddha Shamala Kanti Chauram. Okay, how do we understand that dark luster of fresh cloud, fresh rain cloud? How do we understand that? Can somebody tell me how does he steal that dark luster of fresh uh, rain cloud? Anything? The Navam covering. Buddha? Yes, Prabhu. The covering, Prabhu. The covering, okay. Material covering on the spiritual soul. He removes that dark uh, yeah. illusion. Okay, okay, that is also okay. Then anything else? Removes the ignorance. Ignorance, okay, very nice. Ignorance. 
so two aspect to is um, first aspect is outwardly it is a beauty the shama shundara form of the lord uh, it is not in terms of uh, the, the the color portion of it but most importantly the combination of blue and black together brings out the beauty very nicely and then the beauty is from cloud so he is just stealing that portion and then he is he is getting to it that is outward uh, portion where when it is also not just a rain cloud very specifically it's called navam buddha shamala kanti so it's a very fresh rain cloud okay somewhere it is going to rain and you can see the beauty of that oh it is going to be so uh, rainy or it is going to rain means if you see that the rain uh, the clouds will be so ready to pour okay just just it is going to pour which means he is ready to give the shower he is ready to give the mercy he is ready to shower all his mercy on us so as as both of you mentioned whenever we whenever we take shelter of that particular uh, beautiful cloud form of the of the shama sundara form of krishna immediately he will shower his mercy immediately our ignorance will go away immediately the the, the darkness portion or whatever bit will go away even though we are completely in ignorance we are in complete darkness when when we take padashraya when we take the ashraya when we take the shelter of the supreme lord samasta chauram okay so he is he is not see the uh, bilmang tagore is not saying this person that person he is saying samasta chauram he is the he is the thief of everybody and he is the best of the best thieves that nobody can be best of the thieves okay that is the sec third line of that padashraya which is which is very important like we all know what is meant by padashraya okay so this is the five aspect one is stealing uh, the butter then stealing the gopi's clothes uh, clothes third was stealing the uh, radharani's heart the gopi's heart everybody and fourth and fifth is the same thing about stealing all our senses one who has taken the one who has taken the shelter of the supreme lord okay okay we'll keep the third one so this is again as i mentioned stealing the heart of shrimati radharani luster actually uh, to be very specific the luster portion of uh, the rain cloud okay so the the beauty of that particular portion he is stealing so uh, bilmangal tower wants to bring that oh he is stealing that particular um, beauty from the cloud and then he applies to it actually the cloud reflects the, the cloud reflects krishna's beauty but krishna but here bilmangal tower wants to put it the other way where he just wants to glorify that that he he steals the beauty from the cloud and then puts it on it okay so that is what we can try to understand and also all the sins and sufferings okay the previous one is about sins this one is more specifically on the sufferings so whenever we go to the sloka portion he is he is mentioning he is specifically mentioning about the suffering portion also included okay the, the previous the first sloka is talking only on the sin portion the second portion is on the suffering also so this suffering is very important because we all know Uh, the the most important thing that we are uh, we are dwelling in this material world is all because our current suffering or the previous suffering whatever be it so even in the current situations all our sufferings also is getting measured what kind of sufferings what are the different kind of sufferings adi bhautik adi daivik adi bhautik adhyatmik adi daivik janma mrityu jara vyadi whatever be it from anything and everything he will just take care what what we have to do all that we have to do is just surrender unto okay prabhu ji which word uh, specifies about the suffering yeah i'll i'll tell you the meaning padashriya padashriya sthanam cha samastha chauram okay so that that padashriya sthanam chaura that, that that portion is called spa, um, where the papam and the suffering is uh, together this okay. this uh, this portion is split into two okay padashriya and sthan this is where it is split Okay. The third one. Somebody else can read. Pata ji, nobody. Akin jaya pada shri tam ya karoti bhikshum pati ke hari nam. के हो भीषण 
this is again <clears throat> turning to a different direction where he turns his surrender so in the previous sloka he is he, the, the the devotee has already surrendered to the lord uh, and all his sins are removed all his suffering is also removed okay so he has become a, a devotee of krishna but what does he do to that that uh, particular devotee this is much more worst so this kind of thing will never be there so one who is the, devoted to krishna he will ensure he will make him akinchana kritya padashritam ya okay karoti bhiksham karoti karoti means oh like you know go and um, bhikshum it means go and beg so he will ensure that that become that person becomes pauper and homeless and beggar okay so in one sense we we will we will see it as oh how this this uh, oh this is really unfortunate but this is the most fortunate thing milu mangal takur realizes this after his entire journey after after his entire life episode then he realizes that this um, krishna akinchana you know you we all know this word akinchana okay akinchana gochara okay the akinchana gochana is kritya padashritam yah so the padashram here again defines in in another sanskrit way where he will make them pauper okay he'll make them ensure that he become not even pauper or beggar he is saying homeless beggar i don't know how they brought the translation also karoti biksham pati geha hino okay so it is so nice like you no know, in one sense where we can see krishna uh, he's he's a he's a thief and what and all he is stealing that is one portion of understanding so right from the uh, first sloka to third sloka fourth sloka he is continuously uh, he is continuously stealing so many things on the other side we say how a devotee becomes so near so dear to the supreme lord so he is not only stealing the outer outer things of it now he is talking very specifically the the very intimate connection between the pure devotee of the lord and the lord so what does a pure devotee of the lord becomes he becomes akinchana he becomes completely uh, at the mercy of the lord he becomes completely at the mercy of the lord so that krishna wants to ensure that he is completely in focus in pure devotion to him so for that what he does he makes him pauper he makes him homeless and aho and the karoti bhikshum like you know like making him so much of uh, in a, in a beggar state beggar means what beggar means he doesn't know what he can do next time he doesn't know he doesn't have anything to eat he doesn't know what he can do so in a completely pauper state so not only uh, this beggar portion is don't don't think about living or the uh, or somebody who wants to do a, a how to live this beggar portion also refers to various other aspects also uh, he is completely surrendered he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know what will happen next so whatever be it he will be always be in the begging position of krishna he will be always asking krishna he will be asking guidance from krishna he will be always taking direction from krishna and he will be always ensuring that he is not a, he is he is beggar he doesn't have any qualification he doesn't have any material knowledge he doesn't have any spiritual knowledge he doesn't have anything but i am just continuously begging to krishna so this portion is also where our acharyas try to glorify that whenever we try to do chanting whenever we try to do so many seva our position should be less than a beggar a pauper a pauper we all know pauper means nothing zero that is more from a materialistic position but begging is much more lesser than that where you have to go and ask you have to go and seek then krishna will try to give so uh, from a, from a devotion perspective this is this is called the highest epitome but from material perspective this is the most lowest thing but from a spiritual angle bilbangal takul glorifies the pure devotee as karoti uh, bhikshu so somebody at that particular stage they are at the uttama level okay so but very nicely and the shloka is just one line or two line but uh, you see the, the content of it is so nice and krishna is is glorified as the uh, the thief the thief who who steals not only the uh, um, the material possessions he ensures he makes them beggar okay so should we all become beggar yes we should all become beggars that is what our acharya is also okay and he is saying kena pi oho bigushana chaura so drishtatva shutto va na jagatreya na jagatreya means uh, in the, all the three worlds i have never seen him i have never heard about this drishta shuto shuto means hearing drishta means seeing so um, bilvanga devil glorify that i have never seen or never heard of this kind of a thief he like somebody goes and asks you help somebody asks you somebody goes and surrenders to you what do you do don't worry i'll take care of you 
don't worry ma so chaha i will help you what what have you done you have steal you have taken away all his material possessions and you have made him to come to the road what kind of thief are you and i have never heard this kind of thief if somebody is coming to you what should you do you should take care of them you should give nicely you should do these things things but what have you done that is how blend one time gori guys okay and he is saying drishta shuto va na jagat traye even in the three worlds three worlds here means the top seven the middle portion earth and then the, the lower seven portions okay clear so um, yeah. he is making it more dramatized way right where we can see why well, it is not just the glorifying uh, krishna in prayers but you see how um, dramatically uh, bilvan tambul uh, makes it kind of nice way okay fourth shloka hari bol prabhu ji yes prabhu uh, in the previous uh, this akinchani so uh, i was hearing amrendra prabhu lecture so he was uh, telling ki akinchani means he will take all our uh, greed lust and he will yes. make us beggar like he will take and uh, of uh, sanyas um, uh, like he will make us sanyasi virakt we will not be having attachment to this worldly affairs nice that is also a very nice point madhuri thank you for sharing that yes in one sense he will <clears throat> he will ensure uh, everything all our pride ego this that whatever we do not about the the material possession even the qualities whatever you think that is going to get away it is required that also he will try to very nice thank you okay fourth one yadi naam piharyat shesham प्रयोजन sorry uh, the the application of it how does that particular thief does it so what should we do that he will uh, he will come and um, steal so all that we have to do so uh, bilvan tangul makes it very nice very clear all that we have to do is yadyapi namami harati asesham so when we just chant his holy name when we just chant his holy name what is he taking he is taking not just giri prasaran api papa rakshin so he is not just taking only little bit portion of uh, the sins whatever sins that has been accumulated as big big mountains so our our sins in the in the in the in the, in the life span of many many multi million births it is already mounted into multi million sorry big big mountains so he is removing all the sin mountains okay? not only just one simple sin or simple thing so all the big big mountains he is removing but what is the uh, application of it application of it is very important so that the first line is very important first line is the गोपीज वेर desiring that when this thief will thief will come to my home when this thief will come to my home and when this thief will steal my butter right similarly whenever we chant whenever we glorify krishna we are calling him right so one of the uh, the uh, what are the the, the pratyagya that we do always when we chant uh, early morning is we call krishna's name right so please come please remove all my uh, anarthas please do everything right so that is where we can see uh the and the application aspect of it where how do we get that butter thief how do we ensure that thief comes to our place is through this way what is that way yadya ye nama api harati ashish okay so that the second third lines third and fourth lines very easily understand ascharyo po na ascharya rupo nanu chaura okay which means he is um, what do you say his rupam his beautiful form okay his he is a wonderful form drishta shuto va namai kadapi so i have never heard of him i have never heard i have never seen also okay, that is one but ascharya rupo so again he is he is glorifying that uh, krishna's beauty also very nice 
okay so progressively his first three slokas talks about the butter the glories of the butter thief stealing so many things uh, and the benefit out of it now it is making a little tangent where he is going into how do we do the how do we get that particular thief okay next one quickly we will see okay so this is the mountain of sins so it is not just one or two just by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare what does he do he is taking all the mountains of sins not just a portion of sins of this portion okay धनम च मान तदेन्द्रिया प्रणाम मम सर्वे पलायसे कुत्र दृत्योद्यचौरा भक्ति दासी माया निरोधा ओ तीफ हैविंग स्टोलन मै वेल्थ मै ऑनर मै से मै लाइफ अंड मै एव्रीथिंग वेर कैन यू रन टू I have caught you with the rope of my devotion. So this is directly now the thief has already come. So Bilu Mangal Thakur has already caught the thief. The first three slokas is talking about uh, the glories of the thief. Fourth is about how by chat, how by chanting or by or by uttering the name of the thief, the thief has already come. Okay, so this is how he is taking the direction. So thief thief has already come. Now thief is standing in front of him. Uh, that is how bill mangal to stack or sees through his jnana chakshushu or through his bhakti chakshushu whatever be it so uh, the krishna has already come in is standing in front of him so when krishna comes and stand in front of him he is directly directly discussing or directly in conversation with the thief so what is saying dhanam cha manam cha te te tate indriyani okay so wealth honor indriyani that is also okay pranam life okay hritva mama sarvam eva sarva means everything so it is not just from the wealth portion or the honor portion or the senses life so he is making it everything together in total from a from a material perspective from whatever perspective you want to think what is that i can think i can think about my material possessions my honor my then the from my bhakti or from my portions which is required that that will take me to spiritual platform is my indriyas right he is called as rishikesha right he is called as where he will go in the he will take away my so you have already taken my senses so you have already taken my life also okay pranam cha hritva mama sarvam eva so you, you have already taken everything okay so that is so and then the third third line is very nice third and fourth line is very nice pralaya she kutra dhito adhya chaura so i have caught you now how did i how did i uh, catch you how did i catch you bham bhakti dhamna si mayan niruda okay only by only and only one and only way is i have caught you by my devotion okay so this is again very nicely brought out but this loka we have we can talk very elaborately so uh, how how can we how can we catch this thief how can we get hold of krishna is only to vam bhakti dhamna si okay dhamna you know dham you know the the rope right so only by the rope of devotion only by devotion service only by devotion tvam bhakti and that is also specifically uh, devotion service to you i did the devotion service and now you have come i have tied you with my rope of devotion so this is where the the, the stage is set where krishna has already come and bilu mangal takur has already put his devotion in the form of rope and he has already tied him okay the same thing we can apply to where damodar ashtakam also in damodar ashtakam also same thing yashoda maya was trying to bind krishna with love and affection but that binding of love and affection has got lot of other philosophical understanding also correct okay let's keep going in in another way what we can so what we have to see is we have to give away everything we have to we have to just when we want to surrender to krishna don't worry about honor manam amana avamanam this wealth this thing and also if you are if you are if you are in 100% state of complete surrender to krishna don't worry about anything okay that is what krishna is saying your wealth honor your senses you are already given up right you are already given it up. your life and finally he says everything to get okay so that is most important okay we quickly go there is this whole day to go this one okay last three chinat sigoram 
यम पाश बंदम भीनसी भी मंभव पाश बंदम छीनसी सर्वस्य समस्त बंदम नैवात्मनोभक्त कृतम तु बंदम यू कट द टेरिबल न्यूज ऑफ यमराज you sever the dreadful news of material existence and you slash every one's material bondage but you are unable to cut the knot fastened by your own loving devotees okay very nice so now he he started having conversation with krishna so krishna is sitting there he is already tied now he is going to chant chintati chintati means cutting we all know okay chintati ghoram yama pasha bandham so there are two type of ropes generally love and affection rope and then the the death rope which is very this is completely opposite so uh, that is like yamapasha bandham ghoram yamapasha bandham it is not just uh, very beautiful very nice that we want that rope right whenever uh, somebody has gone uh, gone to see the near death experience like uh, ajamila that rope is not that uh, very nice so, okay let me put my let me put it so it is like ghoram yamapasha bandham okay chintasi so <coughs> somebody who has already somebody who has already completely dedicated his life completely who has already surrendered to lord for him death is nothing okay so he has already cut that yama pasha bandham so you do for them he is beyond that death okay first portion then then he has already done the second cutting also so when krishna comes he is just not stealing before stealing he cuts certain things so he he removes certain things what are the cutting is that he do he, he cuts the material possessions he cuts the mana avamana he cuts the senses he cuts the life then he cuts the this is this is all outwardly seen but internally krishna is doing another another wonderful thing for somebody who has already uh, uh, delive already uh, dedicated his life to krishna for him he, he doesn't have to worry about death also he doesn't have to worry about papam he doesn't have to worry about mental possessions so he doesn't have to worry about anything on the mental existence this is janma mrutu jara vyadi what will happen this that nothing to be worried because he is cutting that particular uh, modes whatever that will happen okay binnadasi bhimam bhava pasha bandham okay this is again very nice this bandham this material bondage this conditioned level is also is getting cut okay that is why even in this material world when you are in fully krishna consciousness whenever you are in the highest state or you don't you are that, that is why we call it as nitya bandha uh, what is it <coughs> baddha atma and uh, this one so that material bondage is already away okay even though they are in the material world that particular devotees set of devotees are always at the nidya siddha stage nidya siddha stage means they are beyond the modes they will continue to live in this material world they continue to do all these activities but the material uh, modes the rajoguna satvaguna tamoguna the modes will never affect them okay so that is the second line okay first line is about uh, the death portion which is the most fearful most uh, a uh, difficult thing that we have to come out of this material world so krishna is giving that guarantee krishna is giving that guarantee when somebody surrenders to him he will ensure that he is away from this. second line is even in this material world also don't worry about material existence he will remove that and he will take away from this janma murti jara so that is one chintati sarvasya samasta bandham okay chintati chintati means cutting we know okay sarvasya samasta bandham she is cutting that okay The last line is very nice. Naivatmano bhakta kritam tu bandham. You can cut anything, but Krishna. But but here Bilvagita is talking. You no, know, he is he is having a nice conversation. He is saying, Krishna, I know you are the steel. You have done so many stealings. You have cut. You have cut so many things. But I know you can never cut this. What is that? Naivatmano bhakta kritam tu bandham. You can. You will never be cut this fasten. This is like much more very tight rope, tight cutting, which is what the loving relationship between or the love between. Uh, the devotee so when a devotee ties his loving relationship love with through his rope that can never be cut krishna doesn't have the power krishna loses his power krishna loses everything when somebody binds krishna with this love and affection okay the same we can apply to damodar ashtakam also all right when mother yashoda binds nothing okay when mother yashoda was trying to bind with her her force her thing she couldn't do right with that uh, with the with the with the inches shot right we all know that that inches shot story okay let's not get into that but uh, how do we see billavanga taku very nicely bringing out this portion uh, of the, the butter thief the position of the thief and what is our position what we have to do and once we are done what is that the, the beautiful uh, relationship that is being brought up 
Okay, last two slokas quickly. Shikam Sarashi Ghori Karagrahi Dukha Maya Nibata Labhasya Hi Chora Hari Chiraya Socharya Dusho Chitam Eva Dandam O stealer of my everything, O thief, today I have imprisoned you in the miserable prison house of my heart, which is very fearful due to the terrible darkness of my ignorance. And therefore, for a very long time, you will remain receiving appropriate punishment for your crimes of thievery. This is, thank you, Mataji. So this is again very wonderful, where the, the conversation is so nice that Bilamangal Thakur has caught this thief <coughs> And he's saying, see, now I've caught you. Okay. But what is the, the portion is, where I have caught you? So where I have caught you? Manmanase tamasa rashi ghore. Okay. This, this, this manas, this, this uh, heart. Okay. I have, I have, I have not uh, uh, taken imprisonment of you in any other place. Directly in my heart. But now this, you should know how, what is my heart. Okay. It is not just very neat, neat, white butter, kind of fresh and so. No. Currently, my heart is tamasa rashigore. It is, it, is it is completely tamasa. It is completely in ignorance, completely in darkness, completely fearful and totally <clears throat> and totally gore. It is very, very bad. My heart is very, very in a very bad condition. So, this is how, this is how we, we, when we chant Krishna's name, whenever we call Krishna's name, our position should be in that way. Krishna, please come into my heart. I know my heart is completely in ignorant state. My heart is completely, but please, please come. Okay. So that once you come, everything will clean. Up. So that is the, that is the, uh, uh, the greedy portion of having it. Okay. But the other portion of his having it is, uh, I am going to labaswa he chaure he kriya, so chaurya doshri. So I am going to punish you. So once you get that loving and affection between Krishna and the pure devotee, so the, the devotee takes this in the next level of saying, okay, Krishna, I have, I have uh, taken you. I am going to punish you. This is again at the very, light, a very highest prema or bhava stage. But what kind of punishment? I am going to put you into my heart. I am going to put you into my heart. And dandam, dandam means what? Dandam in Sanskrit is punishment. Okay. Dosha, chidam, all kind of whatever, uh, whatever, uh, crime, whatever thief, uh, uh, what kind of stealing activities, whatever you have done, I'm going to give you punishment to it. Right? This is our, again one, one way where we can see how Yashoda Maya was trying to give punishment to Krishna. So in the same way, but here he is, he is, Bilbangi Tagul wants to position himself as kind of a devotee and as well as a person who will have a very nice relationship with Krishna where he takes privilege in in calling Krishna. He takes privilege in making Krishna come to and sit in his heart. But at the same time, his humility, Krishna, I'm calling you, but my heart is full of ignorance. My heart is full of um, darkness. Okay. In one sense, I'm going to make you uh, very, very in a gora form, uh, in a very um, terrible thing. But the other way is, once you come, I know what will happen to my heart. Once you start stealing, once you come, I know what will happen to me. But currently, the position of my heart Currently, this jail is like this. Okay. Man maane se tamasa rashi go. Okay? So, there are multiple perspectives by which we can see. One perspective is uh, calling Krishna. Second perspective is glorifying Krishna. Third perspective is uh, my position. I am in a really bad state. So, please, please come to my, please come and you know, sit in my heart. Please take imprisonment in my heart. Okay. This imprisonment is Krishna is willing to come. Krishna is ready to come. Krishna is always ready to come. Okay. So that is how we can uh, we can see. Okay. So <coughs> last slope. Anybody? Nobody? Sorry. Okay, quickly. 
anyone to ask? Kara grahe vasa sada vide madhiye mat bhakti pasha drida vandana nishchala san Ram Krishna he kalaya koti shantatare pi sarvasya chaura vidayan nahimo chiyami O Krishna, thief of my everything, the news of my devotion remaining forever tight. You will continue to reside in the prison house of my heart because I will not release you for millions of eons. So this is how he concludes. Krishna, I have already imprisoned you. I have already imprisoned you with, 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 the, with the news of my devotion. Okay, like with a tight, with a very tight rope, and then uh, he is making that he is making sure that you will continue to reside in the prison house of my heart, and I will not release you. Which means the one one perspective is one perspective of saying is Krishna. I know you have already come into my heart. I know you have already uh, residing in my heart, and this is my heart is kind of a prison house now. But the other aspect is I I will not release you for what millions and millions of years. Okay, so Saravasaj, the word here is pralaya uh, koti sarshantari. So even it is mal millions millions and millions of yugas, millions of millions of whatever uh, age, whatever we can say, okay, it is not even years, age, um, whatever you want to calculate, that, that can be anything, okay, infinity. So he concludes that with such a saying that, please come, in one, in, in one perspective, please come, Pam Krishna, he pralaya, even there is multiple yugas, even there pralaya, whatever happens, you will still continue to be residing in my Sarvasya Chavara Hriyan Na Mosham. So I will never I will never, I am not going to forget you. I am not going to leave you. I have already taken uh, full shelter unto you. So, you have already come into my heart. I will ensure you are always into my heart. Okay. First is Karagre Vasa. Karagre Vasa, the first thing we know. Okay. Sada Hridaya Madhye. So, he is directly sitting right in the center of the heart. I have done a complete tight bondage. Okay? And he has already taken everything. So, this is how uh, we can see where Bhulamanga Dangul concludes the portion that as as uh, as a devotee, when we when you do our uh, sadhana, our bhakti, our portion of having Krishna, all that we have to pray to Krishna is in this way that Krishna, please come and sit in my heart. I I know my heart is completely in the dark ignorant state, but I'm going to bind you with my love and affection with devotion, and I'm not going to release you. When I say I'm not going to release you, what does it really mean? I'm not going to forget you. I have already taken complete shelter into you. There is nothing I can do beyond that. And I will ensure that you are always resigned, which means I will never get into any material desires. I will never enter getting into any other form of worship. I will never do anything else. I will ensure I am the uh, I will ensure that you are always there in my heart. Okay. The other aspect is saying is is glorifying Krishna as Krishna has already come in the in the heart and as the prison, he is already residing there. But, the, uh, the, but the, from a devotee perspective, what we can try to learn from Bhimama and Tokra is, we see that we, uh, we, we we chant nicely, we ensure that we glorify Krishna and let Krishna come into our heart and then we all know our heart, how, how pure it is. But once he comes in, we will ensure that we are never forgetting Krishna so that we will be able to get into all the, get away from all this material entanglement, get away from this <clears throat> so-called bondages, everything and then finally ensure that we always have that the a pure bhakti in which we will be able to have mil millions and millions of years. Not about, don't worry about how many years of mukti. These are all, it, it all becomes secondary. Okay. So he is making, I will not release you for sarvasya chaura hridayan na nahi moshya. Okay. okay. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Chaura shakam ki jai. Jai. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Babu. Nice. This is kind of a very uh, I don't know, this 